In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Today is Thursday, and we celebrate the feast of St. Ambrose, Bishop and Doctor of the Church. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins, confident in God's mercy and compassion. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O oh God, who made the Bishop St. Ambrose a teacher of the Catholic faith, and a model of apostolic courage. Raise up in your church men after your own heart to govern her with courage and wisdom. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day they will sing this song in the land of Judah. A strong city have we, he sets up walls and ramparts to protect us. Open up the gates to let in a nation that is just, one that keeps faith. A nation of firm purpose you keep in peace, in peace for its trust in you. Trust in the Lord forever, for the Lord is an eternal rock. He humbles those in high places, and the lofty city he brings down. He tumbles it to the ground, levels it with the dust. It is trampled underfoot by the needy, by the footsteps of the poor." The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes, comes in the name, name of the Lord. Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to trust in princes. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes, comes in the name, in the name of, the Lord. of the Lord. Open to me the gates of justice. I will enter them and give thanks to the Lord. This gate is the Lord's. The just shall enter it. I will give thanks to you, for you have answered me and have been my Savior. Blessed, Blessed is he who comes in the, in the name of the Lord. Lord. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Blessed, Blessed is, is he who comes, who comes in the name, in the name of, the of the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but only the one who does the will of my Father in heaven. Everyone who listens to these words of mine and acts on them will be like a wise man who built his house on rock. The rain fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, but it did not collapse. It had been set solidly on rock. And everyone who listens to these words of mine but does not act on them will be like a fool who built his house on sand. The rains fell, the floods came, and the winds blew and buffeted the house, and it collapsed and was completely ruined. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. As we continue our journey during this first week of Advent, our Lord calls us to understand what is it that is the will of his Father in heaven? Those who will enter the kingdom of God are those who do the will of God. What does that mean? The Lord uses this analogy of a house built on firm rock to help us recognize the importance of our faith to listen and act. It's a twofold process. Think about oftentimes when someone's telling us a story we easily listen, but do we truly comprehend what we're being told? 
to truly listen means to open our hearts to what God is asking of us. But faith has to be put into action as well. While we wait for the coming of our Savior during this Advent, we're called to listen to God's word, to truly put into our hearts what God is calling us forth to do as Christians. But by virtue of our faith, we're called to action. We're called to serve those most in need. We're called to truly build a firm foundation like the Lord asks us in today's gospel. That's what hope is all about. Advent is about hope. Hope that in the midst of our difficult lives, in the midst of our sinfulness, we have hope that as we build this firm foundation of our faith, we have hope that we have a God who gives us a loving Savior to forgive us of our sins, to offer us faith and healing in the midst of all the woes we face in this life. And so today, let us be mindful as we grow in that hope, as we hope for what comes at Christmas is a loving Savior who offers us redemption for our sins. We build that firm foundation by not only listening to his word, but by calling it into action and helping those most in need, helping those who most need us in our society. Today, we celebrate the Feast of St. Ambrose and in the midst of our own need for hope, in the midst of our own need to build that solid foundation of our faith, I'd like to end with a prayer written by St. Ambrose. Lord, teach me to seek you and reveal yourself to me when I seek you. For I cannot seek you unless you first teach me, nor find me unless you first reveal yourself to me. Let me seek you in longing and long for you in seeking. Let me find you in love and love you in my finding. Amen. Let us now stand and offer our prayers to our loving Father in heaven. We pray for Pope Francis and Bishop Ambera and all those who lead the church. May the foundation created for us by the apostles be carried on by those who lead the church. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are sick and suffering. May Jesus, the divine physician, give them strength and courage during difficult times. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For all those in Israel and the Ukraine during this time of war, that in the midst of strife they may seek peace and reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all those who serve in the military, both at home and overseas, that they may be kept safe from harm as they continue to defend us and offer us freedom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear, Lord, our, hear prayer. our prayer. For all of us gathered here, that as we seek to hope in the coming of our Savior, we may have a faith that has solid ground. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. And we pray for all those who have died that they may come to know the heavenly kingdom with God our Father, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer these prayers, for we ask them with humility and patience, and through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be made acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the, may the Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice in our hands for the, for the praise, praise and glory of his name for our good and good, and good of God's, God's holy church. As we celebrate the divine mysteries, O Lord, we pray, may the Holy Spirit fill us with that light of faith by which he constantly enlightens St. Ambrose for the spreading of your glory through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation, that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of, God of hosts, hosts, heaven and earth, earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. For the At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. <coughs> Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat, eat this, this bread, bread and drink, and this, and drink cup, this cup, we proclaim, proclaim your death, O Lord, Lord, until, until you, you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant, Alex Noble, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, 
our, our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the, the sin, sin of the world, world. have mercy on us. us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Lead us who have been strengthened by the power of this sacrament, O Lord, so to profit from the teaching of St. Ambrose, that hastening fearlessly among your paths, we may be prepared for the delights of the eternal banquet through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. God.